All right. We're gonna just try it this time. All right, let's do a quick on this one. Oh, all right. What are you doing? Oh, oh, don't shoot. Put your hands up. Put your hands up right now. Don't shoot. Don't, no, no, no. Don't shoot. I don't told shoot. you not no, to no. drink that. Why do you drink it? Why do you drink the water? You gotta stop doing that. I'm tired of it. I, this is the third time. I was just already. kidding. I was just kidding. I, I, I didn't mean to do it. I was just kidding. No. Okay. All right. Uh, pick, pick up that water down there. Uh, pick, uh, pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Uh, okay. I'll pick okay. it up. Okay. Okay. Now it's. It has a hole. It's kind of. Okay. Now right take now. the water. Splash it in your face. What? Just no. Do it. Splash it in your face. Uh, okay. Okay. Fine, fine. 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 Okay. Here. Yeah, I'll, okay. Oh, all right. You happy? Put the water bottle down. That's enough. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll put it down. All right. All right. Take um, off your jacket. Take it off. Take all right. Off your jacket. I'll, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. All right. Take off that stupid looking glasses uh, you okay. have there. Take it all off right. too. Okay. Now take off your pants. Yo, I'm not taking off my pants. No, take off your pants. Stop that. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, you're gonna take off your pants or I'm gonna shoot you. I'm not taking off my pants. No, forget it. Shoot me then. Shoot me. Oh, you want to be shot? Okay. All right. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you coming right, in I'll here. Shoot you, okay. Then. Shoot me. Go ahead. All right. We're out of here. Done. Welcome back guys to another one. Super duper here. My voice sounds a little loud, I know. Um, seasonal allergies and stuff like that. Um, today is pretty much going to be a beer review. Some of you guys mentioned this in the comment want to me to do a beer review and specific beers in general. Um, I promised to do this before when I was live streaming that I was gonna do some uh, beer reviews and I would get myself a lot of different type of beers and try them out, see how it tastes like. And some are actually brewed in Toronto. I've actually got one beer here that's brewed in Toronto. So we're just gonna hop into these five different type of beers. I believe they're all IPA which stands for India Pale Ale and I believe they're all brewed in hop as well. Hop is like a like a green plant. It's part of the hemp family member. Um, it's kind of like it gives off a citrusy zesty kind of taste and a little bit of bitterness so IPA usually have those hops inside right so as you can see in the back it says IBU, which stands for International Bitterness Units. So this is this one, this one's at rating at 24. So it's not going to be that much of a high bitterness. It ranges from zero to 100. So let's say Budweiser's, for example, their uh, IBU is about 10, and some of these actually can go up to 70, and depending how bitter it can get. Okay, so that's pretty much IBU. That's what it stands for, and you and and, and pretty much how how bitter the beer is going to be, right? So as far as I've know, I don't have too much knowledge of this kind of stuff. Um, first time doing this review you guys want to see it i'm going to give it to you we're going to try them one by one we're going to pour them we're going to see the coloration of it how smooth it is how much foam does it have um the taste is it zesty or is it dark amber is it kind of dungeony or stuff like that i don't really have too much of a high terminology when it comes to like reviewing beers and giving out taste terminology and stuff like that i'm not, I'm not really big in that i just usually just drink get drunk but uh i'm going to try my best on this one so let's just get into this all right, let's move the camera. So they've been in the freezer about two hours, roughly. So it should be, if anything, about seven Celsius. I think that's a perfect, about the perfect temperature. Seven Celsius or a little below that. First and foremost, I got five jars and I want to show you the different color that each one has. All right, so I'm not going to be drinking it all. I'm just going to be pouring them all in there one by one. And just to give you a prime example, all right? So we're gonna start with the uh, hopped and confused. Okay, this is from Mill Street. This is uh, brewed in uh, downtown Toronto. I've been here before, uh, Mill Street. Um, this one, I've never tried yet. Um, it probably tastes really good. It gives you a little title in the back, a little story, you know? Okay, it pretty much says, this beer is really hoppy, but not bitter. It's an ale and a lager. It's juicy, herbal, floral, smooth, crisp, and doesn't taste like anything else. It's a sessionable version of a non sessionable style. Hop confused, once you try it, you'll get it. It's very delicious, it's straightforward, okay? Very, very awesome printing, okay? It's not on the aluminum itself, it's actually printed plastic and it's been wrapped around. So, you know what, that's pretty nice. You got the beaver right there, you know, the bear. You got those rainbow trowels, I believe they're rainbow trowels. This is a 4.7 in alcohol content, session ale. We give this one a shot. Pretty awesome. I love it. Oh yeah. Alright. 
temperature reading. Stick that right in there. Eight Celsius, seven. Okay, it's going down. Averaging a seven. That's just perfect chill right there. So we're gonna give this a shot. Ooh, look at that. Nice bright orange. Now that's the hop and confused. Give it a nice smell. Ooh, <laughs> that kind of smells like lychee or lychee. I don't know how to actually say it, but there's two ways people actually say it, lychee or lychee. Smells really fruity. I love the smell of this. I love the smell of this. Really smoothly. Now let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. It has a nice fruit kick to it. It doesn't show you the IBU at the back. You can't tell unless you search it up or it's actually labeled on the can. Mmm. Hold on, let me drink it. Ooh. Wow, that's so good. <clears throat> oh, that's a really good beer. Um, rating out of five, I definitely give that like straight up a 4.5. Really nice fruity smell. It smells like kind of like lychee. Actually, fruity taste kind of tastes a little bit, just a little touch of hemp. T just a little touch of hemp. But mostly fruity and hempy. So, definitely give that one a good rating, four out of five. Definitely will have to drink that again. Okay, next. We have Wild North Adopalduya. Okay, matches my burgundy sweater right here. No, sorry, burgundy jacket. Nice finish, nice design actually. You got the the northern trees there. Uh, Lakes of the Bay Brewery. Okay, it says it says right here clearly best served at six to eight Celsius, right? So definitely six to eight Celsius. Oh, here you go. There's the IBU. The IBU is twenty nine. It doesn't show the IB for this one, but uh, yeah, definitely. And this one says, Uncle Dunks got it right. A double do ya. Double means double, and double means strong. German Hollywood hops offer earthy around. Okay, but this is probably not made in Canada. <laughs> I thought this was in Canada. This is probably in German. This has to be in Germany. Yes, definitely. It's 6.5. This is actually pretty strong beer. Uh, let's give this one a shot. Oh, look at that. This is kind of like dark ale, okay. Ooh, this one's a lot more darker. It reminds me of uh, Little Ricker's Red. I don't know why it has to be Ricker Red all the time, but uh, this has more of a dark dungeon smell to it. Woody. All right, let's see how it tastes. Ooh, that, that one's really rough. I guess based on the alcohol content, that's 6.5%, and also is more of a dark ale. It has more of a strong, powerful sense of um, taste, where it's like kind of like a woody flavor. If I'm doing, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bitterness level is at 29. Um, not really familiar how to analyze this, but yeah, I definitely would say this is pretty good. A uh, little rough, not so smooth like the first one, but uh, it's not so bad, right? So. We're gonna go to the next one, which is Hop City Brewing CO. Okay, you got the little cute squirrel there holding the hop plant. It's called Barkling Squirrel Amber Lager. 5%, and it shows in the back, like I said, uh, alcohol content IBU, which is 24, Amber Lager. So very similar as I would say as this one, Amber Lager. Give this one a shot. Hop City Brewing. That's a cool picture, look at that. <laughs> This one's actually pretty foamy. Ooh, this one's not as dark as the other one. Hot City, here we go. This one actually looks a lot more um, like Coca-Cola. Really bubbly, this one's a lot more bubbly. Has more of a, a reflection of cola, but Coca-Cola's actually a lot more darker, but uh, it smells a lot smooth, if that makes sense. <laughs> it smells smooth, but I can't really smell too much from this one. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mm, yeah, comes out smooth, goes in smooth. Quite the bitterness to it, yeah. Definitely taste the bitterness. It's really rich in bitterness. This one definitely, I say, it's not my style, but uh, it's pretty decent compared to the Wild North one that we tried here. It's not as bad, but um, I don't know really to say much about this. It's pretty much just straightforward. If you like more of a bitter taste, I would definitely drink this. Okay, and we're gonna go to this one. I've been wanting to try this one, definitely. Plump and Unfiltered. Okay, this is Flying Monkey Craft Beer. Okay. Juicy Ass IPA. So it's called, actually called Juicy Ass. It has like all this kind of like doodling around the bottle, which is pretty awesome. 6.5, really strong. Uh. 
Yeah, it's, it has a, a, a note in the back right there. I'm gonna read out from you guys. From the busy minds and happy hands of the flying monkey, enjoying juicy ass IPA, a golden ambrosia of beautiful hops with notes of pine, tangerine, and passion fruit. Plump and fresh, juicy ass as a fun, delicious craft beer. Juicy ass, juicy ass, definitely. I like the name. Brewed in Canada, Ontario, Canada. Oh, berry. Oh, this berry. It's, it's been brewed in Barry, so Barry is actually about an hour af away from where I live. So I didn't know Barry actually made some uh, some IPA. I'm gonna assume this is actually pretty limey. Oh yeah, it looks limey. Six point five percent. Look at that. This looks really citrusy, kind of zesty, kind of aura right here. So, ooh, <laughs> it smells good. It kind of smells like the hops, but the hops have more of a lychee kind of smell. This one's more, a little more zesty, a little more balanced compared to fruit. It does have the fruit. They say they do have the fruit on this one. Ooh. Oh, dude. That is so bitter. It's very bitter, very fruity at the same time. That, when you put those kind of two things together, it's, 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 it, it kicks your taste buds, actually. It really kicks your taste buds. Oh. Man, that's a strong one. Having alcohol content about 6.5, really bitter, really fruity at the same time. Uh, not, it doesn't go down as smooth, it hits your tongue with that splash. So I definitely say that one's quite, quite strong with the bitterness. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go to IPA Goose Island Honkers Ale, all right? I didn't try this one, I tried the green version which is the original one. I think it's, I believe it's the regular one. So uh, it has a nice design here too, as well. They all have beautiful designs. All these IPA cans, they're really original. It's not just blank, you know? That's what I like about these. They're, they're, they're awesome. So we're looking at this uh, fruity hop aroma, rich malt middle. Okay, we're gonna try that out. Oh yeah. I believe this might be amber as well too. Okay, it's, this one's pretty balanced in the color versus the other ones. It has more of that, that light yellow and the uh, amberish kind of color mixed together. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> Can't really define the smell in this one, but uh, give it a test. Kind of a woody flavor, a little dark in dungeon. A little rough on the tongue, not too, uh, not too smooth, but decent flavor actually. Not bad. Mm. Slightly creamy, slightly creamy. We're talking about Guinness. Uh, Guinness is hella creamy, but this one is like slightly. Like, I wouldn't say too high. Not too much on the bitterness. Just very, very uh, slight faint of bitterness. Not too much. It's not as bad. If you're talking about Fly Monkey, really high in bitterness. I don't know what the IBU is on that one, but definitely this is the most bitterest one. But out of all five of these, definitely say this is the best one. Mill Street. Hoppy confused. It has a hempy flavorish taste. Really good smell to it. Um, I really enjoy this one a lot. The session ale it has a really quite perfect, pretty much good balance towards uh, the drink. Uh, it's a really good IPA over here. Really good. I love this one. If you guys want to see more future videos about uh, beer reviews, I could do one per month. Definitely say one per month. And I'm going to do at least five cans. Five cans of different flavors or different type of beers and stuff like that, right? So if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff and you guys want to request some certain type of beers, drop it in the comment below and say what you want to see. If you guys want to see some German beers, some Canadian beers, some, some American beers, some, you know, some beers from different countries, so drop it. I don't know if I'm going to have it at my location. Definitely do have a wide range of different type of beers, but whatever you guys drop, I'll try to find it and I'll put it in my next review and then we review it but at the time being I'm gonna enjoy this Pretty amazing beer. Um, really enjoy them. It's nice to try something different. This is super duper, and this is the beer review. If you guys like it? Thumbs up. Don't forget to share. 
like and subscribe um i guess see you guys next time i'll be getting drunk right now cheers peace out